Good morning. What are we doing today? Okay, so on the agenda now, I'm really good at always making agendas in my head and then they don't get executed the way that I planned. So I'm just going to tell you what I, I would like to do today and maybe those things will get done and maybe not. Dave is out driving his car right now. Um, he wanted to take the ponies out for a little joy ride. So he's out riding his Corvette and he was going to go to BJ's, pick up some, some things that we need from there. And I'm getting started up in the craft room. So I would like to try to put the lights in the bookshelf because I did get the extension cord in yesterday. So that is all ready to go. So I want to work on that. Dave is going to hang my coffee filter light over the chair today. And he's also going to be putting the, I don't know what they're called, but they're like metal square things that the legs screw into for the picnic table that I did, the round one. And I think in the previous video, I said it was a two person table. You can pit, fit pit. You can fit four people at that round table. And of course I'm getting off topic because I, I, I always do. He's going to be putting those supports, I guess is what I'm going to call them, on there so that I can screw the legs in. So we're, we're getting all of that done today. Also, the metal table that I purchased for all of my heat press items is supposed to come in today. I don't know what time it's going to get here. Hopefully it gets here before it gets dark because it could get here until like 10 o'clock or up until 10 o'clock at night. Anyway, that's supposed to be delivered today too. So if I don't get to work on that today, I will work on that tomorrow. But let's start the video. As always, when I have a list of things to do in my head of specific things, I always find other things to do because my brain feels like it's literally always in chaos. But I purchased this from Amazon and it is to hold uh, your vinyl and I did tell you in the other video that I put my vinyl cutter on my desk here so I want to put my vinyl here and I do have some heat transfer vinyl but I don't have a lot of it most of the vinyl that, that I do have is just regular vinyl but since I have it and it's currently, well, I'll show you what it currently looks like. It currently looks like a jumbled mess. It's been like this for years. And when I say years, I mean literal years, like 10 years. I'm going to attempt to kind of organize this a little better and see how it goes. Dave had a friend in Wilmington that had a vinyl cutting business and he, gave us all of his scraps. So I don't really even have like actual vinyl that I have purchased except for a few things. I mean, I do have a few things that I have purchased and you know, some of it I do have a lot of, some of this is really dirty. It's all wrinkly. Should I even keep that? I don't know. All of you people out there that do vinyl. Can you see it? Look how wrinkly and I don't know if you can tell, but it has like, like white little specks in it and those specks aren't coming out. So I'm thinking they're like actual tears in the vinyl. I don't know. Should I even keep any of this? Let me know in the comments what you think, but some of it looks nice. Like this green looks nice. So we did what we could. I'm proud we got that far, honestly. Why did I bite? I think I have the nice I, I get like all of the normal James. That was from like, oh my god, that's so funny. It's like James back now because I want him to think I didn't like his joke. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Awesome. Have a good day. Okay. I have finished this project. Uh, it's kind of heavy. It has a lot of vinyl on it. So I hope it doesn't fall down. We will see. I think it's a great vinyl solution and I have a lot of space to add more. Now I am going to work on my actual list. I'm gonna start the lighting.
Really quickly, I'll just tell you what my process was just in case you're trying to do something like this in your home. I purchased this LED light kit from Amazon and I will leave a link in the description box below if you're curious on the one that I purchased. It came with six strips of LED lights and connectors for you to kind of customize it how you want. But I have found in the past that the sticky side that's on the side of the LED light strips where you're going to actually stick it onto sometimes is not very strong. It will fall down after a while and sometimes just not stick at all. I already had this 3M double sided tape which is very strong so I decided to go ahead and put that on the back of the LED light strip so I would not have any danger of it falling down or not being sticky enough. I decided to go ahead and do this on the back of all of the LED light strips before I attempted to connect them together or put them on the bookshelf because I wanted to kind of figure out how I wanted to configure them inside of the bookshelf because there are four shelves, but I knew that I was not going to be able to have the lights on all four shelves. I put some double-sided tape on the back of this actual connector here, and this is kind of like the sensor for the remote control because it did come with a remote control for you to be able to turn the lights off and on that way. So I wanted this to be able to stick on the side of the bookshelf, and that's why I put the double-sided tape on that. Once I had the on off sensor stuck to the side of the bookshelf, that's just what I'm going to call it for lack of a better term, because you can actually turn the lights off and on by that sensor. There's a little button right up underneath that little green light that you can actually turn the lights off and on with without having to use the remote. But once I got that stuck on the side of the bookshelf, I plugged the lights in to try to figure out how I wanted to configure the lights. All right. Here comes nothing. With the light kit that I bought and the length of the shelves that I had in the bookshelf, I could connect two lights on the first basically three shelves so the very bottom shelf doesn't have any lights in it which was fine with me I just wanted some lighting in there for just some whimsical type of ambience but once I had the first light stuck up there it was very easy to use the little connectors that came with the kit to connect it to the next light This light kit comes with three different type of connectors for you to connect the LED lights together. With my bookshelf, there's a tiny bit of space between the back wall of the bookshelf and the actual shelf itself. Mm -hmm. So I was able to kind of fish the lights in through the little crack and go up that way. So you just kind of have to configure it how you want for your application. This is just what I did for mine. We're just gonna, we're just, we're just, yeah. Get up there. Get, get up there. Is it perfect? No, but that's okay. Fine is there. Okay. Perfectly. Okay. For this next shelf, I had to kind of fish the lights up onto the side of the wall so that I could put them on the bottom of the shelf. Because if you noticed, I started on the bottom of the shelf below. And I did that intentionally so that the lights would kind of shine down onto what will be future books. And I didn't really mind having to fish the lights up onto the side of this wall because there is going to be something whimsy coming in the future in this corner. And that's just how I had to do it. So I hope all that makes sense. I have the lighting all in there. I have a nifty remote to be able to turn them on. I know it's gonna do some weird flickering in the camera because of the timing. I do have, 
I mean, I just used what I had. As you can see, it's kind of going up here. Now, if you thought that that was the end of the plans for this bookshelf, you would be incorrect. I have a whole lot more plans for this bookshelf, but I love how this turned out. Just imagine it full of books with more, more whimsical, because we're going to be adding more whimsical. I love it. Let me turn the light off to kind of... <sighs> it just makes my heart happy. Okay, and now how are you supposed to screw it in there? Like this. You put a little bit of weight on it. Not weight, but you tug that a little bit, and you just turn it like so. And then this thing sandwiches the sheetrock. Fancy. Needs a toggle, baby. Yeah, you wrap around twice, you ain't gonna need no zip tie. That's getting in my nose. You don't want it higher? No. Okay, I'll hold this out of the way. Now I'll just have to clean up all the dust. 25. 25. It's really close. While Dave's out there in the loft trying to figure out where the legs need to go for the picnic table, I'm admiring my little reading nook. I absolutely love this corner. Yeah, definitely don't grab it by the legs. <laughs> it's pretty sturdy, actually. And, well, this one's not. This one's wobbly. That's the leg. This one's sturdy. Okay, where's my sandwich? Oh, he can't even see us. It feels really good to have one of the picnic tables for the business completed. And I don't know if this business is going to go anywhere. It may flop, but I'm going to go for it. To be quite honest with you, I could have probably started this way before now. I let other focuses kind of take over my life instead of this. And to be quite honest with you, fear is probably the only thing that has been holding me back up until now. The fear of failure is something that's real. I'm trying to put that in the back of my mind and, and just go for it. Why not? Life is all about taking chances, right? I have to get way down here. <laughs> Let me just lay in the floor. So the first thing that I'm going to do is put together this table. I have filmed so much, guys, that I don't know what is in what video. But you did see in one of the other videos that we did order a bigger metal table to go in the garage for the resin process of making some of the tumblers. I did order another metal table to house all of the heat press items. So we're going to put that together. So I'm going to turn on my music and we're going to get cracking. Why do I say the things that I say? I sound like a goober. Let me just give you a word of advice. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted by the music in the background. Um, if you do order one of these, we did not do this with the first metal table and it was very difficult to pull this layer of protective film that they put on here. I would recommend that you do this, pull this protective film off first before you put this table together. We did not do that the first time and uh, I feel like this is going to make my life a whole lot easier by taking it off first. So yeah, do that. Sadly, I'm going to lose all the storage, but that's okay. Okay, I have been working all day on this little loft area, and I have finally got it 
finish to a stopping point and I'm loving it. Is it going to win any Southern Living theme? What am I even trying to say? Anyway, let's show you this face. Ignore all these boxes over here. That is going to be going to the trash. This is going to be going to the garage when we're able to move the other metal table that we bought that is currently being used for me to paint the Mickey bench, but that's going to be going in the garage. But I got this all put together. I've got my heat press on here for shirts. I've got my new tape dispenser here for the heat resistant tape that you need when you do any type of heat pressing, whether it be, you know, heat transfer vinyl, direct to film, or sublimination. I've got my hat press, my tumbler, mug, glassware press. I've got my scrap vinyl stuff that's not going to go in the new vinyl organizer that you saw in the last video here. I've got sticker paper here, sublimination paper here, and regular printer paper. It's Tuesday. And yesterday I ended the video with setting up this computer. I was getting really frustrated. I don't even know if that made it on camera because I could not figure out for the life of me why this printer would not connect to my computers. Um, I woke up this morning, I watched some YouTube videos on it. Those videos weren't really that helpful. And what I ended up doing was downloading the Canon print, it's right there, app onto my phone. I was then able to connect this printer to my network which is also, and my phone and my computers are all connected together. So since I was able to add it to the network on my phone, I was then able to add it to the computers. So everything's fine now. I do have to order some t-shirts or some tote bags or something to subliminate on too. Uh, so once I do that, once I get those things in, I will set up that printer so that'll be in a future video. So when Dave came home from work yesterday and he saw everything that I had done. He thinks that I should move this desk down and put this over here. Okay, that was really quick. I just basically exchanged this desk for that table and that table for this desk. I don't even know if that made sense. I just moved them around. Switcheroo. But yeah, this space here is all set up. I've got this printer all set up. I haven't used it yet, but I would like to maybe experiment with it a little bit. When I do, I'll bring you along. I do have some photo paper, so I might load that in there and try to print out some pictures from my phone just to see how well it does because that's what people say you buy this printer for, for photo printing, art printing, stickers, so on and so forth. I had to run up here and open the camera and film this just so you can see my scatterbrain and how it works. <laughs> so I'm editing the epic grandkids vacation video and it's 12.09 and I thought let me go take a break, fix myself some lunch. I'm gonna fix ramen and when I fix ramen I like to use chicken broth instead of just regular water just because it makes you know the broth taste richer, have more depth of flavor. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew that I had some chicken broth left. And I did. Here it is. But it's not a full can to container. This is not a can. But it's not full because I opened it the other night and used it. But instead of putting it in the refrigerator, because it's been opened, I put it back in the pantry. When did I last use this? I last used this to make rice. So that was like three days ago. So it's been sitting in the pantry for three days. I have to throw it away. I can't use it. That is my scatterbrain self. And this kind of things happen all the time. All the time. I'm just gonna have ramen with regular old water, which is fine. Trust me, it's fine but I really like it with chicken broth. <laughs>